Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another installment of my Holidays series. I am going to go over the Too Faced Holiday Collection, giving you swatches, reviews of a few of the things that I've picked up from this collection. They had a really, really big launch this year for the holidays. Just so much stuff. I didn't pick up every little thing because some of the things, like the cute little ornaments that they had out, were just things that I already had or I didn't need. Like there was mascara in them or the lip injections and stuff like that. I just didn't feel the need to get that. But I have three of the palette sets, a lip set, and the blush bronzer little set as well. And one of the limited edition lip glosses that was in the collection as well. So let's get started and dig in. First set that I wanted to talk to you about is this Too Faced Pucker Up on Park Avenue lip set. And this was at Ulta and I think at Sephora as well. This is $29 and in here you get three full size lipsticks and a really cute makeup bag in here. Honestly, the makeup bag is what caught my attention because look how cute it is. And then on the back, there's that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and I love it. And it's got like a plastic material. And then, um, on the inside you have the three lipsticks. Now, two of them are in the original La Cream version and then one is in their new La Matte section. And you get, you get a nude, which is in Sugar Daddy. So there is that one. This is like an everyday natural lip color. Then you have a deeper nude in Pink Chocolate. There is that one. And then you have the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. This is in their La Matte uh, formula and this is Rebel Heart. And it's kind of a brick red. It's not a cherry red by any means. It's very, very wearable. And it's a very comfortable matte finish. Like normally matte lipsticks really dry my lips out and they're really uncomfortable to wear. This is very comfortable to wear. This is about two hours of wear as well. Um, it doesn't hold up very well when drinking or eating, but um, it doesn't fade naturally over the few hours. So I really like this lipstick. It's pretty nice. I think this is a great stocking stuffer. Uh, it's perfect for 29 bucks. You can't go wrong with it. I can guarantee that the person who receives it would probably really love it. Uh, I do want to show you, I didn't purchase this kit, but I did want to show it to you. Uh, this is sold at both Sephora and Ulta. This is their Merry Christmas Ultimate Liquefied Lipstick Set. And it's $25. You get three melted liquid lipsticks and then you get the melted matte down here as well. And I didn't buy this just because I already had the two uh, melted lipsticks right there because they have Peony and Melted Fig and I have already have them. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out for $25, that would make a great gift for somebody. Um, just because you get a variety of colors and a variety of finishes to try as well. Oh, and this top row in here is one of their melted chocolates. And then, I picked up their limited edition melted matte uh, lip liquid lipstick. And this is in... What is the color on this candy cane? And it's supposed to have a peppermint mocha scent. Um, so here is what it looks like. It's got a cute little candy cane lid. It's a very bright pink, bright reddish pink. Oh my gosh, it does smell like peppermint mocha. Oh God, that smells good. I don't even like to drink peppermint mocha, but I love the way it smells. Oh gosh, yes, and look how gorgeous that is, and it applies super nicely. Um, this applies very well, it doesn't skip, um, it's not patchy, and for a melted matte lipstick, and for a matte liquid lipstick, it feels very comfortable on my lips. It dries down to a nice matte finish, but it doesn't suck the life out of my lips. I really, really like this. Okay, next is a blush and lip gloss set. This is the Naughty Kisses and Sweet Cheeks set and this retails for $36. I believe this is available at Sephora and at Ulta and at Too Faced.com. You get three blushes and three lip injection 
um, lip glosses and okay I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys I did not try the lip injections um, I'm not somebody who likes plumping lip glosses so I didn't even want to go near my uh, lips with those I also have not swatched them either and I'm gonna be passing them along to a friend or including them in a giveaway uh, because I'm planning my holiday giveaway and I just thought since I haven't touched them or swatched them that they would be okay to just give to you guys maybe um, so let me know what you think about that in the comment below but I am going to show you the blushes because I love these blushes um, these are in their love flush blushes and I had never tried these blushes before so I was really excited to get them um, this one is crazy in love and it is very very bold very very dark it's got a little bit of shimmer to it here is what it looks like and there is a swatch it's very pigmented you have to be very careful but it does sheer out on the face very nicely and it gives, it gives you that really nice flush like I've been outside in the cold type look without actually having to go outside and be in the cold it's very nice I really like it and then you get dream lover and this is kind of a purple, which is very interesting. I'm not really one for purple blushes, but I was really excited to see it. And this is a bit sheer. Um, and it's a bit more wearable. So here is Dream Lover. It's very pretty. And finally, you get a nude blush. This is Baby Love. And it's just a very nice natural nude color. Here is a swatch of that. And there is the swatch. My favorite blush in these is actually the purple one of all things. I know. I know. Normally, I go for a nude blush, but lately, I was reaching for the purple one all the time. And it's just one of my favorites. It looks really nicely um, applied with a stippling brush to sheer it out and make it look not so purple. Um, it's just very, very nice. And I really like it. The next small set that I'm going to show you is the Let It Glow Highlight and Blush Kit. This is sold exclusively at Sephora and the Too Faced website. And in here you get a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. And you also get this cute little heart um, brush. The brush is very soft, but I found it's very ineffective for applying um, the product onto my skin. So it's just cute. The blush that's in here is also part of their Love Flush. This is the Love Hangover. I've also been wearing this one quite a bit. And this is a deeper blush. I've been wearing this a lot, actually. Here is a swatch of that. I've actually been wearing the three of these products paired together. Um, and they just pair really, really nicely. The bronzer is in snow bunny and here is what that looks like and i kind of just swirl my brush into all of them and it gives me a nice golden bronze and i just kind of um give myself a little bit of contour um but i kind of blow it out so it's not like a very harsh contour and because it's such a nice golden bronze it doesn't look too harsh and I feel very comfortable wearing it to my student teaching placement and just out in an everyday setting. It also, if you have a deeper skin tone, would make a very nice uh, highlight for you if you have like a medium to deep skin tone because it is very, very light. Um, but for us pale skin girls, it works really nice for a bronzer. And then lastly, I have the Candlelight Glow and this is the Rosy Glow version been wearing this a lot too. This is a very subtle highlight, kind of like barely there, but it works really nicely for the daytime. And I just kind of swirl my brush in here as well. There is what that looks like. And there is a swatch. Very subtle, very nice. A little bit sheer, but that's okay. Uh, not all highlights have to be bam in your face and look like you're reflecting the sun. So this is a very nice trio and um, I just really, really like it. For $25, this is a great uh, gift for somebody, great stocking stuffer. Um, it's wonderful. I love it. So next, I'm going to get into the larger palette sets, and I'm going to insert swatch pictures at the each of 
I'm going to insert swatch pictures at the end of each review of each set. So I'm going to get started with the Grand Hotel Cafe. Now they had a similar set like this last year except it was the Grand Chateau um, and that was in Paris. This is in New York. And you take the lid off and you open it up and you have, I'm going to take the palettes out so you can see, you have a really cute little coffee shop. Um, and it's in New York and you have Christmas trees on either side and it's just really cute. And then you have a mini Better Than Sex mascara in here. Um, it's an okay mascara, not my favorite. I'm wearing it today though and I really had to layer it up to get some volume to my lashes. And you get three palettes in here. You get gingerbread cookie, eggnog latte, and peppermint mocha. Now each of these palettes are supposed to smell um, like their individual name. So I will show you gingerbread cookie first. And in each palette you get six shadows and then either a blush or bronzer. So here is what that looks like. This is the one palette that I find myself having the hardest time using just because the colors in here really aren't subtle or natural looks. I do like using ginger cream as a brow bone highlight uh, but these are just a little too deep for me and would be okay going out at night but not during the day. The bronzer is very very nice. I will swatch the bronzer for you quick. Um, it's not too um, muddy on my skin tone. It looks very nice for a subtle bronzer. I actually do really like it um, and I find myself reaching for it every so often. It does subtly smell like gingerbread cookie which I really appreciate. Sometimes I will just sit here and sniff these palettes. And then we have eggnog latte and this is the one that I this is the one that I use the most often just because just because you get some very natural shades in here as well. I like using iced coffee all over the lid with a skinny latte in my crease and then eggnog latte in my inner corner with this as my brow bone highlight. This is Frosty Nog. You get a really bright peach blush called Peach Cobbler and there's what that looks like. This is a very pigmented blush. You have to have a very light hand with it because it is very easy to build up. It is very easy to put too much on and look like a clown. And this does smell really good, but I do not pick up um, eggnog. Actually, it smells kind of pepperminty, so I'm not sure where they were going with that. And then finally, you have peppermint mocha, which again is not one that I reach for a lot because you do have some more fun shades like you have a pink matte and a purple. Um, this color called peppermint mocha is a little too deep but I do like Christmas blend a lot and the blush is very bright. This is called Santa Baby. Very bright pink. It's right there. There is a swatch. Another blush that is very pigmented but you have to be very careful otherwise you will look like a clown and nobody wants to look like a clown on the holidays. Unless you are a clown and that's your job, then you know, do you do you. I do like this set a little bit more than last year's Grand um, Chateau. Uh, just, uh, I found the quality is better, but I don't find myself reaching for it as much because I do have to incorporate other shadows into my looks because I can't get a one shadow look from, I can't get a one palette look from any of these palettes. So what I might end up doing actually is depotting these um, and putting them into a Z palette. Maybe then I would be more likely to use them if I have a bunch of single shadows in my Z palette to use with them. So these are okay. This was $49 and you can buy it at Sephora, Ulta, or Too Faced .com. Um, It's an okay set but if you have last year's I can honestly say you really don't need it. So that was this one. I will insert swatch pictures right here for you.
next palette is the Merry Macaroons palette from, and this is an Ulta exclusive. And this one is supposed to smell like vanilla, and I love vanilla scents. So I will take this out for you. It comes in a really cute little box with the bow on top, which I think is really cute packaging. When you take it off, it folds out. Your palette is down here. And then you have a cute little picture of what I think would be Rockefeller Center. Maybe it's just a park. You got a little girl skating. And then you got another two face better than sex mascara. And then the palette just pops out like this. Which I appreciate that it pops out for travel convenience and then you open it up and here is what the palette looks like it does have a very subtle vanilla scent which I appreciate they're very um, warm tone and neutral with the exception of you have this violet purple down here and then you have a chocolate raspberry shade up here which is like a purpley brown color but other than that very neutral palette. You do have a sparkly black down here to use as a liner. You get very nice subtle looks and you can create a variety of looks. Now this set is definitely one of the cheaper eyeshadow palettes. It's only $39 at Ulta. Um, I'm going to let you see the swatches and you can decide from there whether this would be a palette you would want to purchase. last set is honestly one of my favorites. This is the uh, Chocolate Shop Cocoa Infused Powder and this is the this is the Sephora exclusive. It is a little bit more pricey. Uh, it's $58 but you are getting quite a lot in this palette and the quality I feel is much better than the Ulta exclusive. Um, so it also comes in a cute little box like this Ulta one did you take off the top and you fold it down. In here you get a Too Faced a Shadow Insurance, a Better Than Sex Mascara, and then a Melted Chocolate Lipstick. And I will swatch that quick for you. This one is in Chocolate Milkshake. And it's just a very nice chocolate nude color. It smells like chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a chocolate bar. Mmm. I love how they scent their things. Palette also folds out. This one is quite a bit bigger. And 21 shadows in this palette. Now the shadow pans look quite a bit like their chocolate bar palettes. And then I was kind of disappointed to see that the shades in this kind of look similar to shades that already are in the Too Faced uh, permanent collection. Uh, this row really reminds me of the Chocolate Bar palette. And then these remind me of what was in the uh, Nikki Tutorials uh, Power of Makeup palette. But I don't have any of those, so I was okay with that. This is my favorite palette from their collection uh, for the holidays. One, it smells like chocolate, which is always a plus. But I find myself reaching for this more than the Merry Macaroons and the uh, Le Grand Hotel palettes. I get a lot of variety, you get a lot of shades, you get a lot of different formulas as well. You have some super glittery metallic shades, you have some shimmers, you have some mattes, and you get some really nice highlight shades as well. Uh, today I'm wearing this palette. I have Ginger Doodle all over the lid. I went in with Chocoholic in my crease and then I took a little bit of Lala. Then I took a little bit of Lava Cake into my outer corner just to deepen it up and give me a little bit of a darker look. And then I put Glaze on my brow bone and then I took Desserts on Me in my inner corner. So, and then I have also the blush and bronzer and highlight on as well. Um, as you can see, the highlight is very, very shimmery, catches the light really nicely. 
The bronzer isn't too bad on me. This is their original Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I've actually never tried before. And then this blush is amazing. It is a deeper blush. It's kind of a rosy mauve. And it's got a little bit of iridescent shimmer. I love this blush. I use it with a stipple brush so it doesn't get too out of hand. Oh, but look at how pretty that is. It just gives me a really nice rosy flush. I've been really, really enjoying it. I just can't get enough. Those in this palette are a lot less hit and miss. A good majority of them um, maintain the traditional Too Faced expectation for soft, buttery, creamy, pigmented shadows, which I really like. And I just am so happy with this palette. I highly recommend it as a gift for somebody or if you are looking for something to put on your Christmas wish list as well. to think about it and I was trying to figure out if I liked the Tarte collection or the Too Faced collection more because I did recently do my overview of the Tarte holiday collection and honestly it is very hard for me to choose. I love the Too Faced packaging and this Mary and this chocolate shop palette is astounding but I also really like the Too Faced I also really like the Tarte collection as well with their shadows and I just can't pick between the two which is better. They all have their redeeming qualities and they all have their duds in the collection but I will say Too Faced really hit the ball out of the park with this holiday launch. It is amazing and I'm really happy with it. So if you have any further questions please leave it in a comment below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Thanks for, wa thanks for watching guys. Bye!